Howdy hey, welcome back to the Pacific Northwest Gold Rushers. I'm Jeff, amateur prospector, and this is Gold Rush 23. Uh, it's Saturday, and today I've been wanting to check out a new creek. So I came here, and uh, there's a specific reason for it, but I don't want to say on video because then everybody will know exactly where I'm at. But uh, you can see lots of sands and gravels. I don't see any quartz. But I am going to do nothing but just test panning a few spots here. And uh, let me go to the other side and show you that. So just one second. A really cool looking rock down there. So anyway, um, just let me get my gear. I wanted to say I gained a few more subscribers. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It helps support my channel. And definitely uh, any suggestions or comments. And definitely hit that thumbs up. Other than that, let's check it out. Gold Rush 23. Let's find a nug. <laughs> Okay, just an update. I made it down here. Uh, I am seeing a little bit of quartz. A lot of cool watered rocks, though. I mean, the wear patterns on them. But uh, this is where I kind of wanted to work my way up to. But the main reason is there are these kind of like almost like a boulder dam. So, you know... You know the water is normally like up to here so that's why these are all worn and such but these are all awful small gravels and such so I, I, I don't know um, it is very pretty I tell you that but I'm actually going to keep working up a little bit because there's like another boulder line right there I haven't even put a pan in the water yet or anything I'm just kind of looking right now trying to read what the creek does and I mean even down under there might be a good spot all these spots here even crevicing in between there you can see there's a little bit of quartz right here That rock there is actually really cool. It's very peaceful, I'll tell you that. So anyway, um, I'm just going to keep working my way. Well, I don't know. I might dip a pan close by here somewhere just to... Again, I was talking to somebody about, you know, prospecting new spots and stuff and... And what I told them is you, you can start right from the basic. All you're looking for is the, even the smallest little speck of gold. And then that's kind of like the trail you can start on. But uh, right now, this is a pretty... It's real cool out right now. It's going to get hot today. What's the word? Tranquil? I did notice there's a lot of traffic today. Well, for out here. So, let me keep looking. Hopefully I find something to at least say there's gold here. We'll see. Back in a bit. Gold Rush 23. 
Okay, just another update. So I actually found a spot that I'm going to do my first pan. I'm going to explain why here, but that's kind of cool. You got the old blast hole from long ago when they were blasting. You know, this was, I think, a long time ago. There's even close by here a rock quarry. But uh, it's still worn, so you can tell it's been there like a long time. But it, it again, remember, this was way farther up most of the time so the water is just colliding and to me it, it looks like it's hitting and like these like heavy ripples and it's pushing everything and then this one's almost like a ski jump and taking it right from here and just throwing it up and then you can see the rocks are a little smaller there is sand and stuff in there I'm not worried about that that's a cool looking rock but then kind of funnels on this large horizontal kind of around this kind of like like this and then colliding again so this whole area if I was gold it's where I'd want to be because it's 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 not your typical kind of ripple you can tell it's moving fast it comes through here and then just kind of hits the brakes Even in here it looks kind of possible, but I'm kind of thinking from my first pan right in here. So, let me take off this pack, get everything out. Well, get my pans out. Beautiful out here though. Gotta be careful, there are baby fish. I see them down in there. They'll break the water every once in a while eating the bugs. Don't want to mess with the fish, guys. Back in a bit. All right, just an update. Like a knucklehead, I left my classifiers in my Bronco. <laughs> I didn't bring my Bronco today. But, uh, so I moved all these rocks. And I got down and I'm just kind of following that boulder. And so I went ahead and filled my arbor classifier up with just the stuff down in that hole. I still have gravels out on the top there, but I just wanted to get down and see. And uh, I don't know. Let's pan it and find out. Oh, that's 23. It is nice and cool and peaceful down here. Back in a bit. Laddy aim. Okay, well, I didn't even find a speck of gold up there. I uh, spent about an hour, hour and a half up there. I did multiple pans. Not even the smallest speck. It was beautiful and pretty, but... Uh, yeah, I didn't even bother filming it just because it was just so repetitive. But, uh, yeah, not even a speck. But it was fun trying. But I ain't going home empty-handed. So I am back down here again. So my plan is because I don't have, I don't even have my hydration station. So my plan today is just, uh, actually not today, just for a little bit to, uh, Get down, I'm actually going to see if I can find that clay again, and this time I'm going to run it. And uh, my plan is to go ahead and classify a couple buckets and speed pan it down and put it all in another bucket and take it home and clean it up. So, let's see what I can find. It's starting to get warm already, so let me get to it. Cold Rush 23. Howdy, hey. Okay, just an update. Uh, a little bit more work to get down to what I believe is pay. So I had to get all those rocks and these rocks out and a lot of sand. But, I believe, you hear the gravels down here. And there's even a little bit of clay there. But you don't know until you test. So uh, 
Let me get a pan over here. It's my Arbor Fabrication <laughs> classifier. And we'll fill up that and we'll see what we got. And if it's good, we'll run a little bit. Gold Rush 23, back in a bit. Alrighty, just an update. I got that pan done. Um, a, a lot of flakes, but really small. Uh, even the material seemed a little bit less gravelly than I'm used to. Well, used to there. But... This does say that I, I'm close, but I'm not quite on it yet. And I had to go well over a foot and a half to get down to some gravels. Um, but let me show you. I don't know if I can get this to where you can see it. So as you can see, the, the you know, I got, you know, I don't know, four or five okay, maybe six okay flakes in there, and the rest of them are just small, tiny little dots. But, if I can get a bucket instead of just one pan, that could add up. So, uh, I'm going to sit here for a second because it's really warm. And, uh, in fact, I have to go up to my Jeep and get a, an ice water. And, uh, and then I'm going to try to classify a bucket and speed pan it down. Back in a bit. Full rest 23. Hey, at least I didn't get skunked today. Howdy, hey, just an update. Well, I wasn't comfortable with what I was finding down in that first hole here, so I reclamated it. And I moved a little bit, just down a little bit here. And now, that's just this top layer stuff here. But this is what I'm more looking for. See this stuff with kind of clay in it. So he's getting warm, but I'm gonna pan this top layer and then see if there's anything in that. But you don't know until you test. I just know that that hole, like you see those gravels that you see there. Those had like about a quarter of the amount of gravels. So the flakes are definitely not going to be of any size, even if I do find them. So, and I was about two feet down. So I decided to change, which could be a good decision, could be a bad. I just know she's getting warm. People are starting to show up. I don't think I have to worry about people swimming. Look how muddy that stuff is. But let me test pan this. See what we got. Gold Rush 23. Alrighty, just an update. I, of course, I always change my plan. I was going to do another test pan, but I just decided to say heck with it. Classified up a bucket. Going to speed pan that down. And the reason is, you can see how many gravels I pulled and rocks. But that big green rock actually goes down about another six to eight inches as well as this one so I found as well as under here so I found it like a little crevice so and this is only and you can see the material this is the good stuff so once I started seeing the material that I uh, I typically really like I was like I'm just gonna go for it so will it pay off I don't know. I'm going to go sit on that nice soft rock over there. And we're going to find out. Gold Rush 23. Alrighty, just an update. So I got that three-quarter bucket uh, speed pan down. Um, oh, one time I did accidentally slosh some out, so I hope I didn't lose any nugs. But uh, I was trying to go fast. I, 
I got a ton of black sand and concentrates here. Pour, pour three quarters of a bucket. But uh, I was going to try to pull it back, but I just, it's so dense and thick that I, I didn't even want to risk it. And besides, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need to take it home and get it cleaned instead of here. Um, so I'm going to be filling the hole and uh, take that home and clean it up. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to clean it up yet. I might play with my sluices. I might just pan it. Or I know I just run it through the gold wheel. We'll see how it feels. Um, I will say that when I was dumping it in, what I was doing, I was speed panning and just dumping it in a bucket. And then I just dump that bucket into my SP-14 to get most of the rest of the light stuff off. And then I just put it right in the container. Um, but I did see a nug, uh, just like uh, last week. A very large flake. Well, the the week when I was here with Rich, uh, it was a very large flake, and so I know that's in there. Better be in there. But as far as other gold, I really don't know. Um, I was trying to look a little bit, but I spent very little time trying. It was just kind of like, hey, can I see? And I would see a speck here, a speck there, but the sand's just too thick. So. I'm going to take a small little break here, and we got a nice breeze. I finally got some shade. And uh, then I gotta fill that hole, pack everything up, get home and clean it up. I was gonna uh, maybe stop and get a burger or something, but I think I'm a little saturated and probably stinky. Yeah. Back in a bit. Howdy, hey, just an update. So I got everything packed up, I got my holes reclamated. Let's go home and see if I got a nug. Go rush 23. Fill them holes. Well, hey, welcome back. All right, I made it home. And I had to get cleaned up and put my lucky panning shirt on. But I decided uh, I'm going to use the gold wheel because it's still hot and there's not much of a breeze, even though I'm here in the shade under my carport. So I got my cons. Snuffer bottle from today. Got my kitchen tat strainer device as per the flower gold wizard. Great idea, by the way. And then let's get this classified down. I'll put it in here. We'll see if I got any nugs that won't fit through that screen. And then we're going to feed them through the gold wheel. And see what I got today for one bucket. Even if you add the, the two pans that I did, technically it would still be one bucket because that bucket was only about, I'd say two-thirds full around there. So two-thirds and two classifiers, I could have easily put that stuff in the bucket. So we're going to say one bucket. Oh, man, it's warm. But we got everything ready. I even have my sippy cup, just uh, a little too warm for Blue Mountain, so I had to kick it up a notch, something with ice. Gold Rush 23, let's see what we got. Alright, just an update. Well, I went ahead and there's my cons. And screened everything out, no nugs. So I got to get that into my storage bin with all the the bigs and the bigger garnets and such for my Emma Gemma. So let's fire this girl up. Find that nug. Gold Rush 23. Still getting used to them. Just another update. Real quick, just a reminder how I run the gold wheel with this really small gold. So you have the, again, the pitch in the water flow. So what I want is the black sands to work their way up to right just before the hole. But what that does mean, there's a cup back there. What that does mean is you're going to have more black sand in your cup than gold. 
but I want every tiny little micro dot. I want them small nubs. Back in a bit. Well, howdy, hey. All right. Well, we're all done and packed up. And I just wanted to show you how I have the gold wheel set and how much black sand there is. But it also leaves a little bit of mystery so you can get excited and such. Uh, you got to remember today I only ran, you know, one bucket. Um, this does include my snuffer. But I, I took my little cup and put it in my, uh, and dumped my snuffer and put it in my little cleanup pan. And I just, I just love this part because this is what makes you go, oh, this is going to be good. Let me show you. Okay, so you can see there's a lot of black sand in here. I mean, nothing compared to what I brought, but... You know, I started pulling stuff back, and look at them, just tiny, tiny, tiny. But, also, look at them nugs. So, you know, that makes it exciting, of course. So, it's going to take a little time. i got to gently pull that black sand down so I can show you every single speck. Back in a bit, Gold Rush 23. All right, I got her all done. Let's take a look. It's actually really good for one bucket. Um, the best news is, although I didn't find anything upriver on a different creek, I did get to at least look. And just because I didn't find it doesn't mean there might not be something there, but um, it's always fun to get out there and explore it was a beautiful place um, but you know ten to a dozen pans and not even one speck um, pretty well told me that I either am in the wrong place or I don't know what I'm doing but I wasn't gonna get skunk so I went back to old reliable and um, I'm actually kind of glad you know I started that first hole and I got a good spec count, but they were tiny, 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 tiny gold. And it, the camera doesn't do it justice. But um, the second hole were the medium-sized flakes. And I could have, if I would have brought my mighty keen, I, uh, I could have moved a lot of dirt. I could have moved... 10 times this amount in probably about the same amount of time but that wasn't my goal today today was to get out uh, you know I had kind of a busy week and um, I, I feel bad because I did tell a, a friend up river that I was going to swing by and she owns a restaurant her and her husband and I, I was going to go there this weekend and but I was just too sweaty and stinky and um, I don't have a lot of pride, but I have enough not to subject somebody to that. So, anyway, let me draw you in here a lot, a lot of micro dots. Um, and I do have a couple nugs in there. But the best of all, it all adds up. Remember, um, I am shooting for that 500 subscriber goal um, by the end of uh, the summer. And... Um, I, I promised that I would do a sip Northwest Gold Rusher pay dirt with a guaranteed of one gram um, to one of my subscribers. And so when we hit that 500, I will come up with an idea how to do it. Um, but uh, let me get you in there and take a look and take a look. It all adds up. It's probably what I still have in my couch when I spilt my <laughs> my gold, and I still have it. I'm, I'm almost afraid to dry it out and weigh it up again, but uh, we'll figure it out. But let me show you right now. Look at that big old nug. 
Let's try the underwater trick again. Well, it's a little blurry, but... It's almost better this way. Boom! Those are nugs. I'm happy with that. Uh, it's not even measurable, I mean, in truth. But, I didn't get skunked. I got to explore a creek, and the funny thing is, I was thinking about it, that's about the only creek I've, I've gone to where I didn't at least find a speck, so I might have just been in the wrong spot. We could always go back and check it out, it's pretty anyway, but, uh, so, still a beautiful day, I got a little bit of breeze now, it's feeling a lot better, so, uh, I just want to thank everybody, um, I'm noticing some of this, us, us, smaller YouTube channels, um, aren't posting as much anymore. Um, I hope you're not losing heart. I love them. I, I watch them. Um, it gives you ideas. It also is, you know, it, it's kind of a camaraderie. I understand that. And the best part about it is you're watching somebody else get excited about something that a lot of people would laugh at and i think they're awesome so you guys please don't give up posting your videos even if you only have a couple subscribers i'm if i'm one of them i guarantee you if i haven't seen them you know what leave me a comment and subscribe tell me that you have a channel and i'll i always every subscriber i go to it and if you do videos i will subscribe um we need to support one another but most of all, we need people that actually can relate to our excitement. And that makes me excited. And I'm touching myself tonight. Anyway, um, you guys have a great week. Thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Serious. Leave me a comment. If you have any suggestions how to make my videos better or how to make my videos better or um, things that I can do that might improve my gold catching um, or whatever. I also have my email on there and, and uh, you know, I've already linked up with a couple YouTubers to, to get together, and they're welcome to message me again and say, hey, can we get together again? And I'm all for it, because this is all about having fun. This is my relaxed time, and I appreciate each and every one of you that support me, and thank you. Um, have a great weekend. Uh, I may have something in store for tomorrow. we got to wait until tomorrow to see, but... Until then, have a wonderful week. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for watching. Cold Rest 23.